Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the latest release of Nitrox version 3.5. This system free immutable Linux distribution has just dropped some exciting new features and updates. If you're into Debian based system or just love trying out different Linux distros, this one's for you. So let's take a closer look at the new and improved aspect of Nitrox 3.5 and see what makes it stand out. First up, let's talk about the foundation of Nitrox 3.5, the kernel and the desktop environment. This version is powered by the Liquorix flavored Linux 6.8 kernel series. Now, if you're wondering what that means, the Liquorix kernel is known for being optimized for desktop use, which means you get better performance and responsiveness, especially if you're running a lot of applications simultaneously. As for the desktop environment, Nitrox 3.5 comes with KDE Plasma 5.27, which is a favorite for many because of its sleek and customizable interface. With this update, you also get the KDE Frameworks 5.115 software suite, which includes a ton of tools and libraries that make your computing experience smoother and more efficient. Now, let's move on to the graphics side of things. Nitrox 3.5 includes the latest MESA 24.1 open source graphics stack. This is great news for gamers and anyone using graphic intensive application because MESA 24.1 brings significant improvements in performance and compatibility. But that's not all. This release also features the beta version of the upcoming NVIDIA 555 proprietary graphic driver series. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, this driver update means better performance, support for newer hardware and possibly even some new features. On the AMD side of things, Nitrox 3.5 includes the updated AMD VLK 2024Q2.1 which enhances Vulkan support. Vulkan is a low overhead cross-platform API for high performance graphics, so this update will be beneficial for gamers and developers alike. Additionally, this release includes XWayland 24.1, which improves compatibility between X applications and the Wayland Display Server protocol. This means you can expect better performance and fewer issues when running older X applications on a Wayland session. One of the most interesting new features in Nitrox 3.5 is the updated OpenRC configuration. OpenRC is the service manager used in Nitrox and they've introduced a new run level called Async. This new run level is designed to defer the initialization of non-essential services. What does that mean for you? Faster boot times. By starting non-essential services in parallel with the default run level, your system will be up and running quicker. Speaking of performance, Nitrox 3.5 has updated its Zswap configuration. Zswap is a feature that compresses swap data before it's written to disk, which can significantly improve system performance. The new configuration uses Z standard as the default compression algorithm and Z small lock as the default memory pool allocator. These changes means more efficient memory usage and better overall system performance. Additionally, the Sys CTL settings have been updated for better security and increased performance. Some of the changes include enabling BPF GIT hardening, which improves the security of the system by making it harder for malicious code to exploit certain vulnerabilities. They've also reduced memory compacting overhead, which helps in managing system memory more efficiently and improve performance in contended lock scenarios, which should result in a snappier and more responsive system. Nitrox 3.5 also comes with a bunch of new features and update software. For instance, there is a new service script to start the NTPSEC NTP server. NTPSEC is a more secure implementation of the network time protocol, which keeps your system clock accurate. This is crucial for various applications and services that rely on precise timekeeping. For those who love customizing their terminal, Nitrox 3.5 brings back the power level 10k configuration for the ZCH shell. This time it's using the lean style instead of the pure one. Power level 10k is known for its speed and flexibility and the lean style provides a clean and efficient look for your terminal. The Louvre icon team has also been updated to include icons for several new apps. 
You'll now see icons for the core control app, which is used for controlling AMD GPUs, the Nvidia X11 settings app and the screen configuration system tray items of Nitrux Plasma team. The small updates make the desktop environment feel more cohesive and visually appealing. Moreover, several MyWay apps are now included as app images. App images are a great way to run applications without needing to install them. They bundle all the necessary dependencies, making it super easy to try out new software without affecting your system. Gamers and hardware enthusiasts will be happy to hear that Nitrox 3.5 has made some specific improvements in these areas. The release includes UDEV rules and kernel parameters to turn off USB auto suspend. This means better compatibility and performance with various USB devices, including gaming peripherals. They've also added Xpand Neo to the distribution. Xpad Neo is an advanced Linux driver for the Xbox One wireless controller, providing better support and functionality. Along with Xpand Neo, Nitrox 3.5 now includes Zone, a Linux kernel driver for Xbox One and Xbox Series XS accessories. These additions make Nitrox a more gamer-friendly distribution. So there you have it. A comprehensive look at what's new on Nitrox 3.5, from kernel and graphics updates to performance enhancements and new features. This release packs a lot of exciting changes. Whether you're a gamer, a developer, or just someone looking for a stable and efficient Linux distro, Nitrox 3.5 has something for you. If you're interested in trying it out, head over to their webpage and download the ISO image. You can run it from a USB flash driver or install it on your personal computer. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.